Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marika. Uh, I just wanted to say welcome to all my new viewers. I've had lots of new subscribers recently um, and I just wanted to say thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. Um, I love making homeschool content and I'm so glad that you are finding it helpful. I just thought I would do a quick introduction of who I am. My name is Marika. Um, I live on the west coast of um, Australia with my husband Greg and we have uh, four kiddos. My oldest is William who is 12. He's in the sixth grade. I then have Em who is seven and she's in second grade. I have Cruz who is five and he is in pre-primary and then we have little Jackson who's three who hasn't quite started school yet. This is our second year homeschooling our kiddos. And so far, we are absolutely loving it. Um, in a previous life, I um, am a teacher. I am a early childhood um, education teacher um, turned homeschooler. As I said, this is our second year and we are thoroughly enjoying um, our homeschool journey um, and this new life that we've kind of built uh, being a homeschool family. And here on my channel, I love to do homeschool videos, just showing you the resources that we're using um, and how we are enjoying them or maybe not enjoying them. Um, and also just doing book flip throughs as well. I know when I go to uh, look for books, um, I always hit up YouTube to, to find reviews of those books um, and any flip throughs um, because often online you can't see what the inside of a book looks like and is it going to suit your needs. Um, so I've started doing just book uh, flip through so that you can have a look inside the book to see if it's going to uh, suit your needs before you go and purchase it. So today I have another great homeschooling video for you um, and I'm going to give you a look inside the um, activities I've put together to teach my children um, all about who Leonardo da Vinci was. Now we are an, an eclectic homeschool, I would say, but mostly we follow a Charlotte Mason style of teaching. And so we do do poet study, artist studies, um, composer studies and things like that. And this term we are doing um, an artist study. As I said, we are studying Da Vinci. Um, and we love um, this book, um, Who Was Leonardo Da Vinci? The Who Was series is one of our favorite series of books. And so I've just grabbed one of those and put together um, some activities to go along with that. So let me give you a closer look um, inside the book and the activities that I've chosen. Now to teach um, artist studies is super easy. Um, so all we do is spend um, 10 minutes um, a week learning about an artist and studying their paintings. And then these activities are a little bit extra on top of that, but it doesn't take much to do um, artist studies. So what we start with first um, is uh, reading like an autobiography book about the artist. And we in particular love the Who Was series. Um, and so I have just purchased this one, Who Was Leonardo da Vinci? Um, I think I purchased it purchased it at the beginning of the year um, from bookdepository.com but I will leave a link down below for you and basically all I do is once a week I will just read um, a chapter um, to the kiddos um, but I will show you um, inside the book so that you can have a good look for yourself it is black and white, but there's plenty of cute illustrations throughout the book, um, but they are in black and white. So here's a look at the contents page. And then it just goes straight in. There you go. You can see the black and white figures. Um, very entertaining. It is written for children. Um, so um, it's children's language. Nothing is um, inappropriate. Um, and my kids really really enjoy these stories we've already started we've done just one chapter so far okay i'll just do a quick flip through for you So as I said, I would read one chapter a week and then um, 
If there's anything that interests us in the chapter, for example, if they uh, mention a specific um, piece of art, um, we will go ahead and look on the internet for a uh, look at that art, um, find if there's a video or some pictures that we can have a closer look at. Um, and because um, I don't have any um, of in particular Leonardo da Vinci's paintings or uh, things that he did printed off. Um, so we would go ahead and look for them online. There's lots of information out there specifically on YouTube. So you can watch cute little videos and things like that. So just once a week, it'll just take 10 minutes to read a chapter. Um, usually what I do is first, before I read a chapter, I will ask the children what they learnt about the last time we read the book and see if they can remember the things that we learnt about Da Vinci. Then I would read the chapter to them and then they would um, recite back to me what they learnt from that chapter. That just helps to gain um, for me to see that they are understanding what they are reading and what we are learning about. And then after they have recited back to me uh, what we read in that chapter, we will then um, go and find a piece of art um, online to have a look at and to study. Um, so we'll find YouTube videos or just still pictures of images um, to have a look. And we'll just discuss um, the artwork that we're looking at. Um, what do we remember that we read about in the chapter about it? Um, what do we think about it? Uh, where that piece of art may be located now, if it's in a specific museum and whereabouts that museum is and things like that. And that literally just takes 10 minutes. It is super easy to do. Um, and we do that once a week. So there's a look at the book that we are using, who was Leonardo da Vinci. The next thing I did was just hop onto the good of in internet to find some cool activities about Leonardo that we could go, um, go along with reading our book. And so I've just got them printed out and stored in this container. Um, but so first of all, um, also, before I start, I will link um, all of these activities for you below in the description box. So if you would like to have a look at them yourselves or print them out for your own artist study, you can go ahead and do that. So anything that I can, I will link down below. So first, we just have this simple um, a little review sheet on an artist study. Um, you can just he see here that they just need to fill it out. Um, very easy and then they can just do some simple illustrations. You can actually uh, work through this as you are reading the book or you can wait um, to the end um, to fill them out. So um, with for artist study, I am just doing it with my older two children. I've got Will who's in grade six and M who is in grade two. So that's who is doing um, these activities. So we just have this like mini biography um, sheet. Um, and then I have this cool book um, that I had printed off. This is just for M. I didn't think my six, year six dude would be interested in doing this. So I've only printed off uh, one for Emily, but he might see it and change his mind and I can print off another one. But um, I think only M would like to do this. Um, I do have the site there, but I will uh, link it for you and then you can see it all put together. Um, but basically it's creating a little book on Leonardo da Vinci. My daughter loves to color in, so this will be perfect. Um, she will actually color this picture in uh, while I'm reading um, a chapter to her. She likes to do that. And so basically um, it's given you some illustrations there. This is the first page of the book. You can see you cut it here. Um, and then there's some illustrations to go into the book that you're making. Let me just quickly show you. Basically, turn the page and then she's going to write um, some information that she learnt about his life. Again, there's more illustrations here that she can cut out and add to her book. She's going to write about the different works that he did. Again, we've got another picture there she can add to her book. Um, obstacles that he faced. Again, some more illustrations um, and some fun facts. So that will make like a little um, 
a little lap book. So that's for my daughter who's in grade two. And obviously with all that writing, I'll have to help her, but that's just a fun activity and a great activity to get them writing as well. Now, this is what I'm most excited for. I have found a whole bunch of STEM activities to go along with learning about Leonardo da Vinci. Now, this is perfect. We don't do STEM activities all through the year. I kind of just uh, pick a couple of terms um, to do some focused STEM work. And I managed to find um, these activities, particularly on Leonardo uh, sorry, Leonardo da Vinci's works. And I believe I got these from Teachers Pay Teachers, but again, I will link it for you. Um, so it comes, um, I've printed um, some off for both my kids, so these are just the same. Um, both my kids are gonna do this, my um, grade two kiddo and my grade six kiddo, and they're actually gonna to work together um, to complete this. We will all do it together. And so this is just a STEM challenge, um, and we are actually going to make this. And it goes through um, all of the things that you need to do. So it goes through the challenge, the materials that you will need. It gets them to do some predicting and some brainstorming. Um, they're going to use these sheets um, for their brainstorming so we can record all that they're doing and they'll have one each. So William will have one and Em will have um, her own copy and we will make, I will help them with the notes. Um, and then we have different trials um, of, um, I don't even think I can say this, the Enometer. Um, they can do different trials, um, take notes of what happened in those trials and then our end results there. Um, so that is so awesome. Uh, just, I really love, um, oh, and here's a reflection um, sheet as well. I really love activities that are grab and go that I can just um, print this out, read through it myself, work through it with the children and fill out the sheet, sheet and then I know I'm hitting all the things that I need to hit. Um, so that's, that's that project. And then I also have this one to do, um, the flying machine STEM challenge. Again, um, just from Teachers Pay Teachers, set out the same way so it has the challenge. It has the materials that you will need. Um, then again, filling out this, we're gonna predict what's gonna happen. We are going to um, do some brainstorming about the challenge. We're gonna record all of that on this sheet of paper. Um, this is the final draft of the flying machine. This is excellent. Um, you can print as many of these off as you need when you're in the designing stage, obviously. Um, and then here's another sheet for the trials and our end results. And then if it's got a reflection page at the end as well. I also found um, this um, activity as well off a uh, website. And I like this one because it actually came with um, this that you could actually cut out and make. Um, so it is... Um, moving through the air weight um, parachute model from Leonardo da Vinci um, and it outlines um, the procedure for you and gives you um, uh, information on um, what you need to say and what you're learning about. Okay, this is the question. Basically a step-by-step -step of what to do. Section with follow-up questions. And then it gives you this um, handout that the children then um, can complete um, once wh while they're kind of doing the exercise. And then this is the bit that I liked. It actually gave you um, the model that you can um, cut and assemble and have a go. Um, and there's the little procedure um, on the side here, the materials, scissors, tape, string, and this student handout. So cut out the object, fold um, along the lines to make a pyramid shape, tape the tab to the open side to make a canopy, cut the string in half, tape one string to the two corners, and then add a paper clip for weights. And then you would conduct the experiment um, and fill out this sheet. So let's give you a closer look. Typical. 
really, really, really easy. There's the website um, if you wanted to have a look, but I will uh, leave a link um, down below for you as well. Then I just found um, some, just some simple art activities um, to do as well. And so obviously this is the uh, Mona Lisa um, and there's a couple of different stages here. Um, but basically here they've got her um, face in her hands. They have penciled in her body and we're gonna add more details, add a different background and things like that. And then this, for this one, we're adding all of those things in. So I think my idea was like, this one was my, for my daughter who's in grade two, and then this one is for Will who's in grade six. Um, it's just a fun activity um, to see if we can add in her hair um, and do like a different kind of background. So we'll study um, an online picture of the Mona Lisa and read all about that and how Da Vinci painted it. And then we'll have a go um, at recreating our own version um, of the Mona Lisa. And then this is another one that's just kind of the same. Um, I have one with kind of all the details and then without the details. Um, and so they can have a go at using line um, and form to um, add in the detail um, around the picture. And then I just saw Emma like to color that one in. Um, but just some super easy um, activities um, to uh, cover um, art and STEM while learning about Leonardo da Vinci. So there you have it. There's a quick look inside the book and the activities that we are using to study all about Leonardo da Vinci this term. I might actually do a follow-up video um, for you on how we actually went uh, with those STEM activities and if my children uh, and I were able to do those together and how we went. So I might do a review of those activities for you. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and let me know in the comments if you want to see any other videos um, or book reviews here on my channel. Hope you have a great week and I'll see you next time. Bye.